Uh, for a phrase that gets used all the time, the precise meaning of off the record is awfully tough to pin down. Case in point, the White House flack who thought going off the record gave him license to make threats, but then lost his job. Adam Riley has more. During the presidential campaign, Biden spokesman T.J. Ducklow was a feel-good story, a 30-something battling cancer while helping his candidate reach the White House. That this president knowingly and willfully lied. About but recently, Ducklow's story took a dark turn after Politico dug into his relationship with Axios reporter Alexi McCammond. Some of the things that Ducklow said cannot even be repeated on air. According to Vanity Fair, after two different reporters contacted both Ducklow and McCammond about their relationship, Ducklow contacted the female reporter, Tara Palmieri, saying she was jealous and vowing, I will destroy you. This is not the standard of behavior set out by the president. Ducklow was suspended for a week and then resigned. But Vanity Fair also says at first, senior White House officials accused Palmieri of breaking an off-the-record agreement by telling her editors about Ducklow's diatribe. Sometimes, though, off the record just doesn't fly. Kalamaki prefaced her comments to Canada Land by saying everything that she was about to tell us was off the record. But that is not how off the record works. When embattled New York Times reporter Rukmini Kalamaki tried to unilaterally go off the record with the podcast Canada Land, they reported her comments anyway, as they should have. Off the record is an agreement, not a mandate, and bad behavior can blow it up. Well, Laura, there's, there's, there's always been a little bit of confusion in certain circles about the difference between off the record, not for attribution. I mean, it, it seems like one of those journalistic 101 things that, that you have to go over again and, and again. But I agree mm -hmm. uh, in this case, both of these were legitimate reasons not to uh, abide by any kind of, um, you know, verbal agreement that something was off the record. I mean, the caliphate yeah. one, I mean, there had been so many mistakes made in that report that the guy up in Canada was just interviewing her about what went wrong. It, that can't be off the record. Mm -hmm. And as for Delco, I mean, what he said deserved to be called to attention to a higher authority. It was, and therefore it broke any kind of bond that the reporter had with him. Right. Off the record doesn't mean keep this a secret. Off yeah. the record means this is not for publication, right. but off the record is about protecting the source's connection to the information and protecting the source's relationship with the reporter. Once the source threatens the reporter yeah. on a personal level, that connection, that is broken. I do not believe that personal threats should be off the record. I think that um, if you're recording it, and you should be to back up your notes, that it doesn't mean you don't sh you don't share those personal threats with your editor, whose job is also to help protect you. Um, and I think a lot of people just don't understand that that when you say something's off the record, that doesn't mean it can't be talked about. It doesn't mean it can't be shared. It doesn't mean it won't get out there. And it doesn't mean that it might not get published by someone who didn't enter into that agreement with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, off the record means basically you don't want anyone to know this conversation ever occurred. And I, the reporter, am agreeing that it never occurred. But I can then take what I learned from you, hopefully check it out, and go <laughs> forward with my assigned duties. Uh, pro tip to politicians and their handlers, I will destroy you is not the best way to establish trust with a journalist. <laughs> so I don't recommend that going forward. Uh, look, uh, it, it can be confusing. I uh, certainly don't mind the request that was made of me recently by a major Massachusetts political figure who, before our conversation, asked me for an explanation of what the difference was between off the record, on background, and on deep background. And I explained it, and we went forward. And I thought I didn't mind that at all. I thought that was a smart move by this person. I, I'd like to tell you what it was. Yeah, but who the was conversation it? Conversation never occurred. <laughs> you always have to have a conversation with the source as to what they mean by off the record, background, whatever. No two people agree on those things. There was a great story in the Washingtonian magazine many years ago in which a number of top-notch celebrity journalists were asked what the various phrases mean, off the record, background, deep background, and no two of them agreed. 
So this stuff has to be negotiated. But I think relevant to this discussion is that you can reach an agreement. And if the source then lies to you or threatens you, or in the case of uh, Rachmani Kalamaki, um, tries to bludgeon you into an off-the-record agreement without getting your um, your agreement to that, then it doesn't apply. I mean, it's it's uh, this has to be negotiated between two people, and everybody has to act in good faith. And that certainly did not happen in the case mm. of um, the uh, the the former uh, right. White House deputy communications guy. You no, know, I agree with just about everything that's said here. Uh, I do a lot of media training with individuals, and when they want to know what's the difference, I explain what on the record, off the record, deep background, and background is, and the differences between them. There is so much confusion. To Dan's point, people don't understand. People can't even define it in our business, um, you know, exactly the same way. So what I tell people is stay on the record as much as possible. <laughs> it's like your mother used to tell you. Don't lie. You don't have to worry later about what you said. So stay on the record and you don't have to worry later on what you said. Now, there are times that reporters have to go off the record. It has to be something that is agreed upon by both parties. And I always tell people, if you're being interviewed, you can't say, you can't toggle back and forth. Now, is this off the record or this is on the record? That sort of thing. Um, and then I also agree, once you start being threatened, um, off the record goes out the window. You share that information not only with your editors, but the editors and then others can share it with others as well because of what the circumstances sure. were and to protect the safety. And finally, I, I, I might add, if you're a reporter, don't date a spokes spokesperson. Uh. If you're a spokesperson, don't <laughs> date a reporter. Things happen. You know, 